something happened when you traveled and I didn't call you because I wanted you to concentrate on the reason you traveled. I hope there is no problem. Felix, are we dating? Are we in any relationship? Am I your girlfriend? Are you my boyfriend? I'm sorry, I don't get where you're coming from. Why would you go and tell Oge that you were in love with me? Um, I'm, I'm afraid that that's just the truth. I beg your pardon? I've been nursing this feelings for you, but I just didn't know where to start. But truthfully, I, I'm in love with you. You are what? Knowing for the way that I am in a relationship? Are you not aware that I'm dating Otto? Of course I'm aware. I don't know how to tell you, but Otto isn't the man for you. He's a scum. You know what? Your time is up. Now get up. you have you gone crazy what the hell do you think you are to tell me who to date and who not to date this should be the last time you will interfere in my relationship matters if i make myself clear yes now get out get out of this place Can I, have I said get out Get out, gold digger! Good morning, boss. First of all, I want to uh, appreciate you for employing me as a staff in your company. And I also remain grateful for all the things that you have done for me in this period that I work with you. I must be sincere and honest. You're not a bad person. You're a woman with a good heart. Intelligent, smart, and I am proud to must have learned a few things I got it from you. I am writing you this letter to let you know that I have stopped work today. I am no longer your staff. The allowance of my salary I received will be sent back to your account. I don't want to be an obstacle. I will not be able to do anything when you be seeing me as a gold digger. So it's better for me to resign and leave without nobody giving me names that is not mine. It's nice working with you, boss. Thanks and stay blessed. From Felix Obi. Yes, Mrs. Ologia, good morning. Please, um, have you seen Felix in the office this morning? Oh, did you discuss anything with him? Did he tell you anything? Oh, no, no, not at all, no problem. Uh, it's just that I've been trying to reach him, but he's not been picking up. 
Okay. I'll keep going. Thank you. Are you sure she has sent the money? Because I've not gotten an alert. That's what Rita told me. She said she has sent the money. I wonder why she didn't send it to my current account. Oh, well, well, let's just wait till tomorrow. I'm sure it will drop. I'm, sometimes it's network. Okay. But, Otto, why haven't you sent the other money to my account? I mean, my current account. Why haven't you sent it to me? Oh. Well, I was actually waiting for this one to drop so I can do all the transfer together. You don't need to go into the bank. It's a huge money. So, okay. let's just wait, okay? Okay. Um, sorry, I need to take this call. All right. Hello? Yeah, what's up? Yes. Is he ready? Everything is ready, right? Everything. Okay. okay. Don't worry, yeah? I will, uh, I will come with you later. Yes, I'm having this money to know, but I'll come with you soon. Just wait for me. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, please. Can I make use of your phone? There's this person I need to speak with. I just have one percent. Um, it's very urgent. Oh yeah, sure. Let me uh, unlock it for you. Okay, there you. Thank you. Please excuse me. <laughs> Babe, are you done? Okay, are you sure about what you're saying? Yes, Rita. I am sure. So what are you going to do now? I collected um, the guy's number from Otto's phone. Yes, I, I had to call them to strike a deal with them. And you trust such people? Yes. People like that can smart you. Look, Otto is offering them 15%. I had to offer them 25%. Hmm. That's if they will play along. And they accepted. No wonder he stopped communicating with me. Even the 20 million naira that was took, he never talked about it anymore. 20 million are you talking about? Otto was never duped. I saw chats of him and his accomplice in his phone. I was fast enough to snap it. Take a look at this. I was never duped. Um, Rita, I have a confession to make. Look, if you don't trust me again after this, I completely understand. But please, you have to promise me you won't tell Dad. What are you talking about? The truth is, I, I am involved in this whole plan to do the company with Otto. You what? He brainwashed me into, into doing it. 
Because I told him, I told him how desperate I am to, to own a fashion home and how dad has refused to support me. Oh God. Yes, hello, Dad. Why are you calling me with a Nigerian number? You're back already. Well, Dad, our company is handling four projects at the moment. I asked Oge to handle one of them. And trust me, she's not doing bad at all. Hmm. I also asked Ato to supervise and assist her. Ato, that's the same guy I saw with you the other day? Yes, Dad. Well, what about Felix? Plus, I know Felix ought to have been back by now. Well, Felix just came back from his trip and there are other projects that are assigned to him. Uh, well, if, if um, OK is not doing badly, no problem. But I particularly have a plan for her. I I have ordered for the equipment she will need to further her, her project, fashion design. And uh, I have uh, also put in place um, the plan to get a big shop for her. Wow. Yes, um, but she will have to consider the location herself before we make our payments. So, and when the equipment come, we we'll let her be. She enjoy herself. She runs her business. And I think she'll be very happy. Wow. <laughs> Dad. Are you the one saying this? Well, it's me. Remember how you discouraged me when I told you about her passion for fashion? Well, the only thing that um, is constant is change. So I changed my mind. <laughs> and, you know, beside, I, I love her. It's just the same way I love you all. And uh, please, Will you do me a favor? What? All right. Um, this is a better surprise for her. I do not want her to know about it. Mm. Will you do that for me? Okay. So on that day of her birthday, we will smash, smash, and give her a tight and powerful surprise. Thank you so much, Dad. We yes, love you. You know what gives me great pleasure is my daughter's uh, new found way of surprising me. You? You? Yesterday's dinner was wow. Daddy. Yeah, I didn't have time to tell you. You like it, right? Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still better than you. You wouldn't have spent. Well, I enjoyed yours because you had to employ the services of your catering cook <laughs> to learn how to do it. Dad. Which was good anyway, you know. I mean, come on, I, I appreciate you. <laughs> that was oh, exceptional. Like oh my goodness, Daddy, thank you. Thank you for loving yeah. it. So I am expecting another wonderful dinner from who? From me. From, from, from me. You, 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 you. Yes, save me. I'm going to get so you I spoke to my sister yesterday because I wanted to find out if you two have spoken. But she told me you don't speak her calls, neither do you reply to her text messages. Um, Marita, your sister, she calls me at the wrong time. And when she calls, I'm usually very busy and most times I'm not close to my phone, so. Senior sis, I know you are angry. And trust me, I understand. You have every right to be angry. But will you allow this to ruin your friendship with my sister? You two have been friends since childhood. In my own case, I was angry because I felt... She doesn't support my dreams. But you. You know, I sat down, evaluated the whole situation, and then I came to my senses. I realized that the Rita I know 
who will not go to sit with Felix to castigate us simply because she wants to have him. <sighs> you two have been friends for long now. Be sincere to yourself. Do you think she can do a thing like that? Well, the Rita I know cannot do such. But from what just played made me believe it all. Same here. But please, don't allow it ruin your friendship with my sister. I mean, I won't forgive myself knowing that I was the one that started it all. Because if I had kept this to myself, you two would still be flowing, you'd still be you still be best of friends. I blame myself for all of this and please help me. I don't want to, to live with this guilt. I feel really bad that you two are, are not talking because 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 of this. Rita, Rita is someone I respect so much. In fact, she's a friend I respect so much. She's that friend that could actually calm me down when I am hot, like when I'm upset, when I'm angry. It really hurts me that we're not communicating. I feel really bad about it. Most times when I see her call and I don't respond back, I'm not happy about it. Well, there's this pride in me I just need to let go and yes it's good that you've, you've been able to recognize that you, you need to let go of your pride it makes sense please if she calls you pick I beg you you know say she no get to mind they think they worry her and me on the other hand they worry me too I beg please <sighs> All right, no wala. You don't too beg. Your beg you don't too much. <laughs> no problem. We sort ourselves out. We're adults. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Come here. Thank you. Yes, how are you? Welcome, Dad. Yeah. Who is uh, Rita? She went out. Yes, she went out. It's alright. I have a surprise for you. Thank you, Dad. very first day which I came with this young man to this house I told him that his face was familiar although he denied it and an accepted he didn't know I was very sure of what I was saying you see a year and a half ago I was just driving past and I noticed some cars you know, and I felt well if I, I may want to add one to our fleet of cars in the house. So I met this young man and he said he owned the place. Even another staff came and, you know, uh, attested to the fact that the man was the owner of the place. So I, I, I particularly 
chose that car and uh, he said we could go testing the car. But then we negotiated and they said it was 29 million naira. So I didn't want them to know that I had so much. So I paid 20 million. Then I told them now that I was going to source for the balance of 9 million. So I made a call and I actually got the money, but I told them I, I only got 6 million. And uh, he claimed because I was a new customer, he didn't want to lose me, that he was good with the 26 million. So the next thing was, he said, okay, let's take a drive so I could appreciate the the engine, the AC, and everything the working of the car. I said, well, that was perfectly okay. So we went driving. So it got to a time, he said, um, he would want me to, you know, stay outside the car while he drove the car past me to appreciate, you know, that I have a beautiful car. He needed me to see from the outside and say, oh, look at the alloy wheel, look at the color, look at the whatever. I fell for it and I actually came out of the car and he said he was going to turn so I could see it. 30 minutes, this guy never returned. <laughs> he made a fool of me. This idiot, you made a fool of me. Well, 30 minutes later, I had no choice but to uh, pick a cab. I went back to the office. But when I got there, I could only see my car that I parked. But the other cars that they displayed for, 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 for sale were no longer there. <laughs> that was when I, I realized that I had been duped. I made further inquiry and they said, actually, those guys had not been there for a long time, that they only just came around days ago, meaning that they had to set it up waiting for a prey. Well, that's how I got duped by this, this fool. So, as fate would have it, he came to my house here with Rita. And um, if he wasn't a fool, he should have known that it was time to run. But he thought he got me. Well, I had to continue with the investigation. And uh, he didn't know that this officer that gave me the lead to it was after him until he had made up his mind to run away. Um, we had to accost him. You know the funny thing? He even came to my office. He became a project person. A staff. <laughs> so that's how this fool thought he could fool me. So, after all your smartness, you will end up in jail, huh? Serves you right. <laughs> now, this is how we ended up. Officer. Sir. Send him away. Yeah, um, oh, yeah. Please, sir. Okay, please help me talk to your father. So, remember, I'm making you pay out of my compound. Let me talk to him. Leave my compound. Family what? Family what? Go family is he talking about? Leave my compound. 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 Leave that is marked like family. Rita needs to hear about this. And come on. So Felix has blocked me and if I call him with strange number, he will pick and then hint the call if he hears my voice. I have sent him messages of apology but yet he never responds to any of them. Ah, nah. <laughs> now wow, 
They really say people when they come, if they invest, your matter not be easy. Even as herself, my bestie too. She did one side, they do her own. Yes, hello. Someone remembered me today. How are you? Yes, I'm at the office. That's <laughs> out. You have just told me you were at the office already. Instead of pulling up that stunt. Um, I'm sorry. Please, I know I overreacted. You're not my bestie now. Uh -uh. You be understanding, friend. Nobody say you be talk up. <laughs> no more problem with you. You're a very classy, funny, but a stubborn human being altogether. To deal with you is not easy at all. Uh, you're supposed to understand me by now. I know my bestie. <laughs> So what have I missed? <laughs> I just want to say I'm sorry for misjudging you. I actually thought you never loved me. Dad. I am trying. I am trying my best to be a better person. And I promise you never to hurt you again. I promise to be more responsible this time. If anyone had told me that you ever support my dream of becoming a fashion designer, I would not have believed. But despite all I've put you through, you still love me. Dad. Please, I'm sorry. I am sorry. I am sorry for all I've put you through. Please. Please. Did Ruta tell you about my plan? No, Daddy. I overheard two of you talking about me. She didn't tell me anything. I want you to realize that whatever your desire is, it is my pleasure. It is my deep concern that you are doing well. I, I will always be there. I'm your father. And I will always love you. Thank you so much, Daddy. I love you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Daddy. It's okay. It's okay. It's alright. Sis. You are not happy. What's happening? I mistakenly walked into Felix today and, and I told him how difficult it has been for me to reach him. That we needed to talk, you know, we have to talk and sort things out. So we, 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 so he took me to an eatery so that we can talk. Then I 
I apologize. I pleaded with him to, to take me back as his girlfriend. That I am sorry. You know, it, it's all my fault. No. I told him that I am truly sorry we should come back together. And then Felix got angry. You needed to see how furious he was. I had to simply keep quiet and stop pleading with him to take me back. He, in fact, he, he blatantly told me that we can't come back together. He doesn't even want, he does not want me anymore. He does not want to, to have anything to do with me. I feel so, I feel so sad. Really, I feel so sad. Felix is a good guy. He's too nice. I don't want to lose him. I don't even know what to do. He says, calm down, calm down. I understand. And the only thing that can help you right now is to free him from your mind and see him as a friend. Just a friend. Please. Really? Yes. You have to be strong. Okay, that's fine. That's what I will do. Good. I'll, I'll try and see it that way. Even though it hurts. Let me get something from that shop. I'm coming back soon. Oh, Please be happy, okay? Okay, so Dad is quite proud of you girls. You've been doing so well recently and you have a reward for it. Thank you, Thank sis. you sis. Thank you. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah. Hey, stop. <laughs> um, Dad. Uh, that is bad. Are you doing? Ah, uh, <laughs> Yes. You're welcome. Wait. Um, Dad, the young man you're with is Felix, one of our staff. The same Felix you've been talking about? Yes, the same Felix. How did you two meet? Well, Felix is not just our staff. He is your other brother. Excuse me. The day Otto was arrested, I was in my car communicating with the officers. And at the end of it all, I was so agitated. I was really, really angry. So in that uh, attitude, I tried to like reverse the car, and I discovered that I, I just hit someone. So when I got down from the car, I discovered it was this handsome young man. I wanted to take him to the hospital, but he insisted that he was fine, that he wasn't injured. But then I had to also insist that I took him home. Well, he was, he was stubborn anyway. He wanted um, a DNA test to ascertain the paternity that I was claiming. Well, we I had to take him to the hospital. We did a swap, and it was confirmed there that he is my dead son. So, so as I speak. I am a very proud father of four wonderful children, three beautiful ladies, and a handsome young man. It would have been a wonderful thing if um, your mother were around. <laughs> mm. 
the blood is thicker than water indeed. <laughs> uh, big brother, I'm sorry for the death of your mom. The story is very touching. <clears throat> it's okay. The most important thing is that we're here. Well, I don't want you guys to get me emotional. But suffice to say that. Oh. Phyllis. Yeah. These are your sisters. My beautiful angel. This is your only brother. Felix, and I'm sure you feel complete now. <laughs> come on, come on. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Yeah. Let me officially introduce myself. I'm the last one of the house. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Back? Oh, okay, Paul. I can see one, uh, one very tall building, uh, brown bricks, uh, not painted yet. Okay, Paul. Okay. Yes, uh, yes. Yes, okay. Thank you, Paul. Oh, yeah, I can, uh, I can see a, a house, uh, uh, brown bricks, uh, Hello, not painted. Man. man, you recognize me? Um, sorry, let me call you back. The guy that took your girlfriend away from you. <laughs> Wait, how she's been fine. Most importantly, don't forget to invite me for your marriage so I can come and spray you some money. <laughs> uh, can, I, can I ask you a question? Are you sure you're normal? Because, uh... From the look of things, I think you are, uh, I think you need to have your brain checked, you know? I'm not sure you're all right. Oh, you, you look very hungry. Do you need some money? Okay, at this point, I need to conclude that you're really not all right. Is it possible for you to just move your borrowed car and then let's have peace? Oh, I forgot. I have a very important meeting in my head of it. I don't have time for losers like you. <laughs> Good. Good. You're standing on the sun, nigga. <laughs> Good. <laughs> All right, bye-bye. Thank you. He is smart. He is bold. He is handsome. And he is nice. Drawn to everybody. Dream of every girl. He is a special someone. Yeah. He is smart. He is bold. He's handsome man, he is cute. He's strong to everybody. Got me thinking. There is something about this dude. There is something. There's something about this oh. guy that is spectacular. Yeah, it's spiritual. There's something about him so special. So I scheduled um this meeting for 10 a.m. just because you told me you were in town and here you are coming by 12. I'm sorry, madam. I, I had some hold up on the, on the road. I see. Um, our new chairman to be went through your account and um, noticed that the auditor of the branch record that you gave me was not accurate. What happened? Uh, madam, I wouldn't know, but then I think uh, I need to have a meeting with the auditor when he comes back. And we, we could just look at things together. And I believe we'll sort it out. If you say so. Yeah, I'll do that. Oh. 
Oh, are you... Are you busy? Not really. Hey, my friend. Does he work here or is looking for a job? Well, that's the new chairman to be that I was talking about. Mr. Phillips Okafo. What? My name is Mr. Phillips. My name is Felix. And I am not on the discussion zone. Hello, Rita, I'm here. Ah, uh -uh. Yes, I can hear you tapping the door. Where are you now? Your car is here. I can't see anybody. Where are you can't they? Just open the car and enter. Which one we say enter the car? Oh, yes. Yes, I want you to know. Hey, 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 keep your essay. What does it mean of this? Eh? Which kind of nonsense be this now? Hello, Rita. I don't understand. What game are you playing? Come on, just calm down. You've been avoiding this guy's call for the past three days, and it doesn't make any sense. He's not even healthy. Was this why you called me here? What, 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 what kind of madness is this? I don't understand. What, what is it? Give him a chance. Listen to him. Let him tell you what he has to tell you. Please. All this fight and all this shenanigans, it doesn't make any sense at all. I beg, I don't really like this guy, Tino. Eh? Ha. Can you at least give me a chance to talk? I beg, I'll talk with you. You won't talk, I beg. No, come waste my time. I just want you to know that I love you. Yes, I do. Please. I sleep, I eat, I wake. Whatever it is I do, I think about you. Please, let's say, give me a chance to be part of your life. I don't understand. Was it because of this rubbish you just spilled? That's why you called me here. I don't get it. Look, you, uh, 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 whatever you call yourself, Felix, or whatever you call yourself, you're very lucky that I am in a good mood. If not, if I don't call it. I may come off my side, Joe. Ah. Felix, what is it? You look broken. I... What is it? I did everything you told me. I did everything possible. She said I should get someone else. She's long gone. You know, I think it's better you move on. Come on. There are a lot of pretty intelligent women out there. People who deserve you. Just move on and just forget about her, please. I wish it's as easy as you said it. But it's not. But it's not. I love her, sir. She completes me, I mean, she's the only woman I can, I can think about. Oh. As it stands right now, I can't, I can't even concentrate, I can't work. If I don't get Essie back, my sanity will not come back. Please, right now, we need you to concentrate in the office matters. You know that trust you, right? And you don't have to ruin it. Yes, you know, I care. 
The only thing that matters to me right now is this. Just take a good look at me. Does it look like I'm still alive? I want that say back. Oh no, she's gone. Said. I've seen and heard you talk. Today tells me you are the man for me. Felix. He's handsome and he is nice Drawn to everybody, dream of every girl He's a special someone, yeah He is smart, he is bold He is handsome and he is cute He's drawn to everybody, got me thinking There is something about this dude There is something There's something about this guy that is spectacular there's something about him so special There's something about this guy that is spectacular And spirit is this strong connection There's something about this guy that is spectacular And spirit is something about him There's something about this guy that is spectacular